Welcome to Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013. Our trip to the show this year is powered by Corsair, maker of quality PC components and peripherals. Our trusted storage partner is Seagate Technology, and our trusted networking partner is Linksys. We're here in the Linksys suite where Matthew is going to be telling us about the product refresh that they are bringing to the market. This is pretty much the, the, the first real generational move in wireless since we went from G to N. Is that correct? That is absolutely correct. So show us the, the, the beast of all beasts, the AC1750. Sure. So we actually have an AC1750 in the market today, but what we're doing with this refresh through the spring and availability will be later in the spring is we're going to buffer it up and take a little bit more uh, power behind this and give you a USB 3.0 port and the capabilities of our new AC routers through the spring as well are also going to have part of the specification of AC, which includes beam forming technology. Are you I'm assuming you know what beamforming is, Linus. Why don't you explain it to me and the viewers? Okay, sounds great. I would say that beamforming is going to take, uh, let's use the light bulb analogy. If you were to turn on a light bulb, it would give you coverage throughout your entire home. If you were to turn on a flashlight, it would give you directional coverage towards where you're aiming it. Same idea with beamforming technology. It's going to take the antenna configuration and it is going to send the Wi-Fi signal directly to those devices throughout the home. So obviously you're going to get faster transfer rates and you're going to have a better experience. So tell me two things. Number one is do the antennas have to physically move? And number two is how does it know where your devices are? So no, the antennas are not going to move. That's part of the specification built into it. And your second question was, how does it know where the devices are? It is going out, looking for the devices, pinging those devices. Once it's established a connection, beamforming starts to do its work, and that's how you're going to see the benefit. So it's going to have to have multiple antennas if it's going to have any idea where something is located. Is that correct? Correct. And these, all three of our routers that you see in front of you right now, these are all 3x3 three three antenna configuration routers on the AC side. Okay, very cool. So, I mean, something that uh, our viewers may or may not have picked up from that is USB 3 is not only going to, you know, look blue and sexy on the back of the router, but what it's also going to do is it's going to allow you to take advantage of that AC transfer speed with a network attached storage device that can be something as simple as a plain old external USB 3 hard drive. So let's go ahead and put this one down because this is probably going to be pretty expensive. So maybe not every viewer can afford the super uber premium one. So why don't you tell us about the AC1600. Sure. So the, the biggest difference between the two, and it's pretty straightforward, Linus, and viewers, obviously, is that uh, we're taking you from AC1750 to AC1600. So what we're doing is we're still going to give you the great speeds on the 5 gig spectrum at 1300 megabits per second. But on 2.4, instead of 450 megabits per second, we're going to take you down to 300. So again, you're still going to get pretty good 300 megabit per second speeds on 2.4, but still have 1300 megabits per second on the 5. The other difference that we'll notice here, we've also taken one of the USB ports away. So we're going to give you USB 3.0, but not that additional USB 2.0 port. Okay, so you still get to take advantage of the fast AC transfer speeds for your network attached storage, but just you don't have that other auxiliary port. That is absolutely correct. Okay, now this guy over here has like a green box and sort of is smaller than the other ones. What is the key difference between the EA6300 and the other two that we just looked at? Sure. So again, we're going to go back and look at the speed and what this is going to do for you. This is the entry level in our AC lineup. 300 megabits per second on the 2.4, 867 on the 5 gigahertz spectrum. So when you put it together, you're upwards to AC 1200 as a combined speed. So again, it's just a little bit less speed on the AC spectrum. But if you need more, you easily take yourself up the line and choose the right product for you. Again, on the back, USB 3.0 port, 4 gig LAN, 1 gig WAN, very straightforward. Okay, now here is, here is sort of the trick. Now, AC is still not that prevalent out there. So we're going to move, actually, sorry, Diesel, we're going to move this way a little bit. So I actually tested on, uh, on my YouTube channel. I took a, uh, a USB, you know, unnamed, you know, competitor D, say, for example, uh, an unnamed USB stick that was AC1200. And I put that up against a wireless N450, uh, not some other USB stick, competitor T, say, for example. Um, what we discovered was that the 450 was actually dramatically faster than the AC USB stick. So if the USB sticks aren't there yet and they're not ready to take advantage of the speed, uh, can you show us what you guys have to allow customers to actually use 
the AC gigabit wireless. Yeah, it's absolutely a great point, Linus, and you hit it right on the head. So what we did when we launched our AC1750 SKU into the marketplace in the spring of 20, or sorry, the fall of 2012 is we launched the Universal Media Connector alongside. It's a single band, four port, AC media connector. So for the customer that is buying any one of the spring routers coming up or the one that's currently in market, you're now going to be able to transfer up to 1300 megabits per second wirelessly from router to bridge and any one of those four devices that are plugged in. So we looked at that as an opportunity to say, let's bring not only the router to market, but let's give them a corresponding media connector to do the job that we know AC can do. So, I mean, that was a bit of a, I, I led him on on that one a little bit because I already knew that the media connector just absolutely destroys both the N450 and the USB AC stick. And we, we actually tested one of those as well. So it was something along the order of about four or five times faster than either of the other solutions. So uh, I think that pretty much wraps it up for our CES 2013 coverage of the Linksys Suite. Thanks again, Matthew, for joining us. Thanks, Linus, for having us. And guys, as always, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.